What's going on, my fellow collectors? I'm back again with another World War Robot. As you can see, it is the Drop Cloth. And um, basically, this is my second Drop Cloth from 3A. The 1-6 scale Drop Cloth. And the box is basically the same as the last Drop Cloth I reviewed. Just this time, the box is red. And as you can see, you see the different... Uh, I guess uh, colorways that this guy comes into. Uh, right here is the kind I got, which you see is the TRP-14. I'm not really sure what the TRP stands for in the 3A world, but um, something to look into. As you can see on the side of the box, you have drop cloth with the R next to it. Uh, back of the box, same as pretty much as the front. Nothing really different. And the same on the other side here. As you can see. See if I can get a little light over there. Alrighty. So, box is simple. Nothing too special about the box. It looks good enough to keep your figure in storage if you don't have them displayed or, you know, if you just want to collect a box. It's still a nice looking box, but, you know, not the best that's out there. But that's all good with me. Like I said before, if the box keeps the cost down of figures, I'm all for it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, let's move on into the figure, guys. Alrighty, uh, check him out, check him out, this is the drop cloth, and he is the Iron Panda colorways, I say it again, Iron Panda, um, why this colorway is called Iron Panda, I have no freaking idea, well, I got an idea, I should say, let me take that back, I would say probably because some of the, the white that's added into, as you can see right here, it's like a creamish, rusted type white color all around going to the back. So I would say just like how a panda would have with a little sprinkle of white in there. But pandas aren't brown, I don't think so. And that's mostly what this guy uh, paint applications is, is a brown, rusted type look going on. But uh, as you can see, guys, DA yeah, just always pleases when it comes to articulating these guys and putting them in all types of crazy poses. As you can see, I got him in like a squat type pose, like he's cocking a shotgun and ready for some action. Alrighty. Let's talk about the robot's articulation and start from the bottom and work our way up to the top as usual. As you can see, he has these awesome type robotic feet that's pretty flat. like an octagon type shape I would say nice rugged ridges at the the uh, sole all at, along the bottom as you can see here pretty standard for the 3A robot that have some type of rugged ridges then we have the ball joint as usual that's connected to the calf of the leg and pushed into the foot socket Working our way up, you see uh, he has bendable joints at the knees, and then there's a ball joint underneath of the the uh, drop cloth here, as you can see. Well, you can't really see, but you know I can go in depth maybe later on in another review on how this guy looks like without the drop cloth. But right now I'm not going to do that. Just want to give you guys an idea of what the Iron Panda colorways look like if you don't know. But, um, yeah, then you see the drop cloth right here. Uh, basically has the same on the arm, TRP-14, as it does in the drop cloth. It just has a little, have a little blowing effect going on, like it's blowing in the wind, as you can see. On the back of the drop cloth, you have crunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely something nice to uh, put on a figure, I guess, on the accessories as far as the logos. I like that uh, that word right there going on the figure, crunch. Pretty awesome. 
Then you have the bags that the figure usually comes with. Awesome amounts of bags and stuff, as usual. On the other side here, he has his uh, handgun, which is uh, standard for the drop claw figures. Then moving our way up, you see the body area where, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself, guys. You can also get articulation in the waist. As you can see, I have him turned to the side, kind of. Definitely get your articulation in the waist, which will be cut like right down in the lower groin area for that articulation that kind of turns like I would say pretty much almost 360 rotation. But then check out the decals on the chest area. <laughs> this is something awesome to put on a robot, guys. It says dead eyes open. <laughs> That's some hot shit to say. <laughs> I like that a lot. But then right here it has fuck the, and I can't see what all the rest is down the bottom because I have to remove the drop cloth in order to see, and I haven't done it yet. But, I mean, just to be able to just put whatever you want on your figures and say, look, this is what it's about. <laughs> uh, moving our way up to the arm areas, as you can see, you can see he has articulation in the elbows. Then he has a ball joint that's connected to the wrist that's pushed into the hand sockets, which gives you full 360 rotation. And the famous articulated fingers, as usual, that 3A has. As you can see, how he's looking like he's ready to cock the shotgun. Then he has his finger on the trigger. I like the rifle with this figure a lot, guys weathered beautifully. Can't stress that enough. Then you have uh, socket uh, ball joints connected to the side of the robot into the shoulder socket. But also you can get articulation right here in this area. Where you can turn from side to side. This looks like a picture of a mouth that looks like it's just uh, with teeth or something like that, slobbering. <laughs> Pretty awesome, I like that. Then we have the head area. As you can see, that's the eye right there where you see the little dot, and up under there is a ball joint that's connected to the head, and it's connected into the, the neck socket, which gives you full 360 rotation. On the back here of the figure, you have the exhaust type pack. Beautiful weathering where you see like the white coloring, like almost like a creamish type color, more than white. Then he has an X right there, a logo. Then, you know, you've seen the bags on the back already. There's that white design. Then you have TRP 14 on the other shoulder, TRP up there. Then you have crunch all the way on the top there. You can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see if I get a little light, extra light going on for you. Alrighty. I don't know if that light helps out or not. But, uh, there you go, guys. They have like an X logo on the hand of the robot. So, another amazing one, guys. You can see the 14 up there on the head. Beautiful, beautiful figure crafted by Ashley Wood and Scooby. Very pleased with my purchase. Definitely one of my favorite colorways, the Iron Panda colorways, and can't wait to get more other uh, figures in this colorway. Hopefully that they make more figures in the Iron Panda colorway. I know all they got right now is the Large Martin. Hoping that, well, I'm told that he will be re-releasing the Large Martins in one six scale. And hopefully Iron Panda is one of them colorways. But, um, yeah, guys, I'm going to be showering you with 3A. <laughs> so stay tuned for more. Boogie215 signing out. Peace.